Good morning, guys. Looted Hose here with another dank stream. I'm not going to make this stream too long. Knowing that some people sometimes watch my past broadcasts. Because today I'm going job hunting once again. However, today I'm going to start off the stream with um, a replay that I got that I, from a battle that I did yesterday. That would just take a while. I'm still missing a bunch of my replays for like no reason. But I don't I don't really care about that. It was just basically a battle. I was playing as Appians, my opponent was playing as Rome, and I've played against him before as and he was playing as Rome. But this battle was pretty interesting. Because even though I just outnumbered him slightly because of the fact that I brought an infantry general, I brought like all Hoplites still. Another day dawns, and another battle beckons. Well, men, this is nothing new to us. One day, when all our enemies are crushed, we will go home with honor. Until then, prepare for battle. At speed! As you command. Alright, so there's a hill right here, and I guess he had that advantage. And basically, let me just pause so we can go over the units. I had um, two light hoplites, one on each flank to support my citizen calf. And I had, I think, four thorax hoplites, but I have a veteran hoplite here, my general, which is a picked hoplite. Uh, one two, three, four thorax hoplites, and another picked hoplites on my flank. I have two citizen cav, both on each flank, three picked peltas, um, not picked peltas, Thracian peltas, and two Hippias lancers. The reason why I brought Hippias lancers wasn't to like do cavalry fights, but because I brought hoplites, meaning that they're not throwing precursors. How the battle started off was he I thought he was gonna fight me here and just defend this part. And he probably was going to. But I wanted to try to move my men from I guess over here to here. And then move my these guys over here. So I can have some sort of hill advantage of my own or at least try to attack him on the hill and then 
and then push into the center while my men in the center fight his men in the center. However, in a few minutes, he's going to push to the hill over here. This one. Oh, Yeah, I moved I moved a little bit to this side to see if I can get on the hill and then fight the units here. Unfortunately, he decides to move his entire force to the hill. And obviously I'm not going to attack uphill cuz against swordsmen I'd probably lose. I mean, pick top are only so good. So yeah, he just moves his legionaries all the way over here. These are all legionaries. He had two veteran legionaries and a Praetorian guard. That's Triari. Praetorian guard's right here. So what I decided to do was move my men, my Hippias Lancers over here to see if I can engage against his cavalry because I had to change tactics obviously. And eventually he's going to pull his cav back to fight them. Now I was, f I was trying to figure out a way to not move uphill to fight his men uphill, but to somehow get these men over here, including my general, this way. And perhaps somehow get my light hoplites into the silky equites. So I just didn't, I was moving my general and veteran hoplites as well as dark hoplites to this side. And then my Peltest did a kind of weird maneuver because I was trying to get them back here so that the archers didn't fire on them just yet. I like their shields though. I wanted to see if I can pull up the archers a little bit. They didn't move up too much. Move it! So I st just decided to start off a skirmish with them. Even though ar the archers should win. The archers should win. I thought it would be a good idea to take as many of them out as I could. He decides to focus fire this unit after, because he was focusing firing this one. 
I mean, these guys are doing exceptionally better. By this time, I was moving my Hippias Lancers over here to perhaps um, fight against his cavalry, like I mentioned earlier. He decides to move it, his archers back. I decided to not pursue them. Uh, the samurai didn't, just like how they didn't have shields. There is no historical evidence of them having uh, stuff like that. Move it! Get running! Remember, they, the samurai did have guns like in the Sengoku period. As you come so on. even if something like that was um, dishonorable, they would have had it. I don't think they knew about things like that though. By now, I'm trying to move my light hoppates over here. And that's what I like about light hoppates. Hoppates, but they're light, and now because of patch 17, they're actually light. So I decided to move my Hippias Lancers over here, and I decided to pay attention this way, I think, because I wanted to move my light hoppate unit and citizen cav. A little bit over here, just in case he wanted to, for some reason, charge them. However, I wasn't paying attention back over here when I needed to pay attention the most, because he started to charge me and I didn't see it. I, by the time I saw it, I was only able to charge with this unit. So what I had to do was I had to bring my light hoppate unit into the fight. My light hoppates will get smashed by Triari, and I know this. However, I'll be able to get to these guys first. I'll be able to get into this fight before he does. Of course they get exhausted afterwards. But I still think it was worth it. Unfortunately they did get stopped by um, this unit of Soki Ekotos. And I had to somehow find a way to pull out this um, Pompeius Lancers. I know the, um, the tepo, as they called it, where it wasn't reliable, but it did bring victory to some some factions, so you can't ignore that. I tried to take out my Hippias Lancers, I was able to. I was able to stop the uh, Triari over here. Then I was able to charge in with my Citizen Cav. Who will beat Soki Ekutes, for sure. Then I, I knew like my light hoppates weren't wouldn't be able to win against Triari. But what I wanted to do was hold them in place while my citizen cav uh, beat the uh, Soki Ekutes. Advance at speed. And then I wanted to use my Hippias Lancers to charge into the Soki Ekutes. Advance! Riders, advance! 
is understood. Sharp steel. Advance at speed. Quickly now. Riders at the double. For glory. Mm, nothing going on over there. So yeah, like I said, I was able to charge into them. And I was able to get rid of the cavalry on this flank. I think I was planning to charge in again, but I decided to fire on the this unit right here. And the reason was to just waken them up a little bit. Because this causes hit point damage as you might know. No, it's all right. It's fine. Doesn't really matter though. Like I said, this causes hit point damage, makes it easier for the thorax hoplites to win against them. And remember, these are thorax hoplites, not swordsmen. They'll have a harder time hitting if they're not in uh, hoplite phalanx. They do have more armor though. If he wastes his Pila on the Thracian Peltas, that's fine with me. Anyway, over here I couldn't charge into the Triari because they formed Square. However, my Allied Hoppites were going to last longer because not all of the Triari were face fighting them. So that worked out well for me. He decides to charge, so I decide to use my uh, Citizen Cav over here to charge into the back of this legionary, veteran legionary unit. Because this Praetorian Guard were going to go up against my, uh, my general anyway. There's an engagement going on right here. Because he didn't brace, this unit is going to get fully charged. This unit, the Praetorian Guard is going to throw their Pila into this unit, but not my general, which was fine with me, and this unit will just throw their Pila into my Thorax Hoppitas. I wanted to wait a while to put my men into Hoppite Phalanx, because if they do it too early, sometimes what will end up happening is, what happens sometimes is they'll do a little weird maneuver and they'll go sideways. Now my Dark Hoppitas are being slightly surrounded and hit from the back. And I didn't like that, but you, know, you can't do much about it when you go into Hoppitate Phalanx. Decided to use my Citizen Cav to hit the Syrian Archers. Didn't do as much damage as I wanted, but it is what it is. Was able to pull out my Hippias Lancers while the Triari over here are fighting them, Triari, uh, fighting the Light Hoppites. And I'm going to use it to hit the backs of all three of these units to win this flank engagement. Over here I was able to uh, get catch him off guard a little bit, charging my Citizen Cav, even though they'll lose against Soki Ecotes to um, these guys. But I was able to get my Light Hoppites in there. And then I decided to, and I'm probably going to lose this engagement over here, but I just decided to charge them in because I wanted to hold them a little bit longer. This time I decided to instantly put on top of the See, sometimes this happens where they can still throw their crew up, but I guess they didn't. 
I put decided to make my the pace lancers, one of my wounded ones, go right into the general. And yeah, nothing important is really going on besides the the cycle charges. And remember, every time you charge in with hip, with um, cavalry, it causes hit point damage. And with heavy and very heavy and super heavy cavalry, they tend to do a good knockback or knockdown rather. Orders understood. Put battle rhythm on these guys. I think I'm going to use second wind on them eventually. Yeah, I used second wind on them so they can get out quickly. Unfortunately, unfortunately, my hip haste lancers over here um, ended up losing to the Legatus. My light hobbits haze also started losing because they're exhausted. Because I used rapid advance on them as well. My picked hobbits haze over here will go, are starting going to start losing eventually to this unit of veteran legionaries. I still have this Hippos Lancers unit right here, cycle charging. My Light Hoppetes lasted long enough to actually stop the Triari from being effective over here, which helped. It helped a lot. However, I decided to go after the General because I did enough damage to these units that they're not going to be able to win. Advance. Now this unit of uh, legionaries routed. There's still this one that's um, going around me. However, my Thorax Hoppetes are now winning. Now, he made a slight mistake here. Because, yeah, he charged into the back of my Picked Hoppetes, but... Picked Hoppetes do have extra charge defense. And even though it does cause damage and some damage, like some of the damage is ref um, reflected back onto charging units, which is why the Hippias Lan um, Lancers, Silky Equites, are losing. I was able to get the general. I was able to kill the general, and that helped a lot. It helped with these three units, which were routing, are going to start routing. My late Hobbites eventually routed. Orders understood! The so I just decided to take out the uh, Praetorian Guard, which was exhausted because they used uh, used the whip, which didn't, which uh, he didn't get to kill my general. My Hippias Lancer is routed, so now I have no cavalry left. But it doesn't matter. Yes, Commander. I'm just wiping out um, his flank over here. Actually, that's his center. Over here, my Hippias Lance um, picked Hoppetes were standing pretty strong. However, the Triari hitting the back and the veteran legionaries hitting the front is pretty deadly. And my Dark Hoppetes did a weird maneuver. But it didn't matter because they were doing what they were, uh, what I wanted them to do which was hold out long enough to make my center win and now it's just basically me mopping up the rest of the units here because my thorax hoppetes did like break eventually and so did my picked hoppetes but they lasted long enough for my center to win I, as you command Pat orders understood So eventually I was able to bring my general and this unit of Thorax Hoppetes to fight over here. And I mean, sometimes people like try to bring Thorax Hoppetes and Swordsman, and I don't think it's a good idea. It's, I mean, you can bring it because Thorax Swordsman, excuse me, have, uh, have 90 armor. I mean, Thorax Swordsman have precursors and 38 attack. However, Dorax Hoppetes have 90 armor and have better charge. Forward. 
Dark Hoppetes lasted long enough to let my general come in. Now they did a weird maneuver, which they were going to face it this way, which isn't what I wanted. So I just waited a little bit longer until I formed Phalanx. And that's what the Hellenic factions are good at. They're good at um, having good spear units overall. I mean, if you could bring Royal Peltas, obviously. You can bring Royal Peltas, which are a good sword unit. But in my opinion, they're not worth it. Um, if you have access to good Hoplites, or good spears in general. But that's just my opinion. I mean, I could see... Like, if you want to be aggressive, then yeah, bring Swordsman, but... I don't know. Like my Thorax Hopate should win against the Charlie, even though there's the men difference. By your command, as you command. And then over here, I'm definitely going to win against the Charlie. My veteran hopites were exhausted. My thorax hopites weren't. I decided to use my picked hopites to hit the back of his triari. He decided to go into square, but it was too late. Still got into square, obviously. This time, my picked hopites didn't do a weird formation. See, when, when um, models get stuck into your unit, it's easier for them to get killed. Because they get attacked by like a bunch of units. I mean a bunch of models in your own unit. See, like right here, there's two models hitting that, that one Triari unit. See? Actually, now it's four. So this unit, this model is definitely dead. This uh, model right here is probably going to get killed. And actually, that was the end of the battle. It was a costly victory, but it was a victory. And it's just one of those battles where Hapute's come out on top over uh, Swordsmen. Obviously the Chirari got a lot of kills because they were fighting late Hapute's mainly. Veteran Hapute, uh, veteran Legionaries got a lot of kills too. But Athens is an underplayed faction because before... Actually when Syracuse came out they became less played because they didn't have the roster they have now. Let me just go over their roster. Um, where are they? Athens is right here. Syracuse is right here. Athens and Syracuse have the used to have the same exact same roster. Like they had veteran Hopates. The Syracusan there yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Syracusans now have Etruscan Hapites. Well, actually, they always did. However, um, in a in a patch, they um, Athens had Thracian warriors. Syracuse always had access to mercenary Samnite warriors. Their Hapites are exactly the same, though. So I could have played as, well, with the exception of Etruscan Hapites. So I could have played as Syracuse because Syracuse has access to better sword infantry. Um, Athens does have Thracian Peltas and Cretan Archers. They also have Rhodian Slingers, but Syracuse has uh, Balearic Slingers, so there's no real difference there. I think the only difference is like melee stats, because they have the same armor value as Balearic Slingers. They also have Hippias Lancers. Syracuse has Hippias Lancers. 
They also have Missile Cav. Um, Athens Melee Cav is Citizen Cav. Syracuse has access to Italian Cav, Companion Cav, as well as Citizen Cav. And so really the only field that, or the only part that Athens would win in is the skirmishing field, where Light Peltas are their best skirmishing, their best uh, javelin unit, as they have 10 ammunition and 8 shots per minute, whereas the best for Athens would be Thracian Peltas. They also, Athens also has access to um, Cretan archers, whereas Syracuse doesn't. So if you ever want to fight Syracuse with Athens, just bring good skirmishers, and you should probably win the skirmishing war. But be careful about Samnite warriors. Samnite warriors do have less melee attack than Thorax um, swordsmen, but they have better armor. They even have better armor than Thorax hobbits. Anyway, that's just really what I wanted to bring out before I do like another multiplayer battle. The difference between Athens and Syracuse, as well as how I won a fight against Rome using just Hoplites. I want to continue uh, playing some multiplayer battles. Now that patch 17 is out. I lost the battle yesterday because I mismicroed my Night Hunters. So I want to try the Swebians again. One Berserker unit. I guess the Romans, I don't think um, Wolf Warriors are necessary. Oops. Um, I might just bring wooden ass spears, but what map is this? Uh, this is an open field map. Night Hunters probably wouldn't be a good idea on this map. Sabri Bow Woman would be a good idea. Four would be nice. Four Noble Riders, two Germanic Scouts. Uh, no, five would be good enough. Four Sabri Bow Woman, a Berserker. Because you never know when Berserkers would be a good idea. I think he's going to bring a lot of Praetorian Guard. Sixty-one. That would be good enough. I'm going to use um, Ariovistus for this one. You know, he said no art, so that's fine. Four Sembi Bowwomen, five Swordmasters, two Bronze Shield Swordsmen. And Sembi Bowwomen, if you didn't know, have access to the anti cavalry spear, which gives them 30 bonus versus cav. Basically, that just means that against. They can beat Citizen Cav, they can beat some Lancers, except. Some lancers would probably decimate them on the charge. They can be they can't beat um, uh, noble blood cav uh, cavalry or Cappadocians. They can't beat noble riders. They can't beat Praetorian cavalry, but they can beat Silky Equites. Basically what I'm saying is that they're pretty decent against mid tier cav. Like they get um, 58 melee attack and 50 weapon damage against cavalry. Ready for battle! Aye. Sons 
of Woden. Berserkers! Sword Warriors! Ready! Ready for battle! Ready! Orders! Swords! Ready! Orders! Warriors! Ready! Berserkers! Berserkers, if they get fired down, they'll get massacred. So I'm going to put them in the middle, or on the left flank, really. And then Missile Riders Scout Riders Then my harassing Germanic Scout Riders, of course. Riders, ready. Mm, pretty good. Today we take the initiative and seize this opportunity to attack. Today we will show this pathetic enemy our appetite for a battle. Today they shall flee or die. Today we fight for glory. I'll be kissed your wife goodbye. I'm going to turn off the Noble Riders. Turn off the uh, fire at will for them. Wait, when did Swordmasters become medium? Like, they were supposed to be heavy. Oh, jeez. They changed a little bit. They must have done it in a hotfix, because they... In, uh, in the beta, they were heavy. Because they downgraded from very heavy to heavy. So his line is pretty deadly. He has a front line of evil Kadi cohort, one unit of levies, which means that he's probably going to have to come to me. That means that I can harass his cavalry with ease. However, sometimes you have to be careful. You have to be careful because sometimes skirmish mode won't work unless the units being the this unit has an attack order on this unit. So if they attack this unit, this unit won't move, which means that this unit can actually catch this unit. Scout riders. Gotcha. So there's that, of course. Um, is this good? Seems pretty good. He's gonna move back, obviously. Sword Monsters! I have an advantage when it comes to cavalry, though. I don't know if a frontal charge would work. A frontal charge with my cavalry could work. All I really want to do is just annoy his... Annoy these two units of Cav. 
Because if he were to charge me, I'd probably get decimated. I could use my round shield swordsman to eat up the javelins from both of these lines. Because they'll probably get massacred if I didn't. a little bit because I have a feeling I know what he's going to try to do. I'm going to put these guys back. Alright, so this battle is going to be very quick. Anyway, let's activate fast charge now. One of our units has gone berserk! I should have activated, uh, where's my general? I should have activated, what is it called? Uh, pride. When I had the chance. Activated a little too early, but this you no. Yeah, I didn't I didn't activate it right. Oh well. Remember, these guys have extra charge defense. The men are wavering. My berserkers will probably get massacred. Noble riders! Who do not spare us? Riders! Who 
Our men flee the field of battle! This is a shameful display. Our men flee the field of battle! This is a shameful display. An entire unit has perished! Rise at speed! Bulganar's spears! Shield yourself! Noble riders! Mercedes are warriors! Noble riders! A unit is running from the battlefield! Our men flee the field of battle! This is a shameful display. is running from the battlefield. Advance at speed! Kill! 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 Deadly missiles! Ready! Scout Riders! The enemy general is dead. Of course he is. Noble riders! Riders! Ready! Gotcha! Noble riders! All right! As you say! Take kill! 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 Bulganar's spears! Swift horsemen! Gotcha! Warriors! Men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. What a battle! Noble riders! Archers! Noble riders! Understood! Noble riders! Forward! Yeah. Yeah. 
Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. An entire unit has perished. As you say. All right. Battle ready! One of our units has used all its ammunition. Drift! Horsemen! Ready! Charge! Ready! Understood! Warriors! Ready! Proud to act for Germania! Our men flee the field of battle. This is and a shameful a display. Wounded! We are the dark forest! Charge! Nobu riders! Gotcha! Blood in! battle is turning in our favor. Warriors of Germania! Take charge! <sighs> Pretty nasty. I mean, Romans are not easy to beat at all. Especially Praetorians. Two of my swordmasters didn't... Three of them did pretty bad. The Berserkers did good. Round Shield Swordsmen did what they were supposed to. This Simbi Bull woman got wiped by the um, Auxiliary Cav, unfortunately. Auxiliary Cav are pretty strong. Warden Ass Spears held out for a long time. Uh, Noble Riders did well. Fast Charge went pretty well. Evil Kadi Cohort. This one couldn't do much. Oh. 
he left. That was a good game, though. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to save that battle. Most of these games are from yesterday. Like this game is probably from yesterday too. This might not be. What faction haven't I played as? I've never played as the Seleucids because I feel they're overpowered. I don't play as Egypt a lot. I don't play as Pontus a lot either. I should play as them more. He did a 3v3, but it's he wants a 2v2. He has large armies, which means that he's playing as the Egyptians. I mean, he he's playing as the Egyptians because they have cheap units. Probably he's going to bring like a bunch of Egyptian pikemen. I don't know. Bring a punt unit of Pontic Royal Cav. Three of spears is my spear unit. I'd probably be better off with Cabadocians. Yep. Two units of three of spears. They can do a mixed roll. Naked swords. Three Pontic swordsmen. If I'm not facing like a bunch of pikemen, I could probably charge with my general and the Cabadocian cav frontally into hopefully melee infantry. And then use my naked swords to f fight my way through, through my uh, general, and probably do some hit point damage. I'll probably do some hit point damage with my Pontic Royal Cav. Not probably not these guys. I'm gonna use Warrior this time. Anyway, I'll be right back. I have to take a quick, use the washroom really quickly.
A two versus one. <laughs> I go to the washroom for like a minute and then I hear the game starting and all of a sudden I knew, I like knew it was a two versus one. I didn't want to believe it was, but it is. Uh, what am I going to do? I hate people who do that though. It's so cheeky. Like, I mean, have some decency, man. Oh well, two versus ones aren't that bad. He's gonna reset. Oh no, he's gonna bring two scythe chariots. He's gonna bring two scythe chariots, four Galatian swordsmen, and an Egyptian infantry, as well as Ptolemaic cav, camel cav, and Egyptian cav. Five Libyan infantry. Like, I could have probably beaten this army. I mean, if you were paying attention to what I was bringing, he'd know already. But once again, we're playing on large armies. And I can't control it, obviously, because I'm not the host. I hate bringing pikemen sometimes, but I'm going to do it this time. Oh, he put the funds down, I think. No, he's changing it. And... He's not going to do a one versus one. People tend to not bring the Sacred Bandit of Carthage. And I don't know why you wouldn't. I mean, they're a pretty good Hobbitay unit and they have expert charge defense. Which is useful for countering shock cav, really. It's good for countering um, pretty much any unit with high charge with low health. Like Falksman. keeps on changing the price so I don't know what I'm gonna bring anymore like I'm bringing I'm gonna definitely bring this bill but I need to know what he's setting the price as so I can figure out which cav I should bring I might bring Scythian horse archers it seems like a good idea considering the fact that I'm going up against Carthage I mean, Carthage counters every faction, pretty much. Okay, so now... I shouldn't bring Cappadocians, because Noble Blood Calf can beat Carthaginian Calf, and that's good enough. I won't bring any skirmishers this battle. 
or Scythian horse archers. This should be good enough. I'm putting like a lot of emphasis on cavalry in this battle. I could have brought more. I could have brought skeletons instead of four Cappadocians, uh, noble blood cav. But I wanted to make sure I had a good, strong cavalry force. So my advantage is my cavalry. My disadvantage is my skirmishers. If I can keep my cavalry alive long enough, I should. By the peacocks strutting before you? Would you dishonor our people with defeat to these pretty birds? No. No. We shall put these women to flight. Make ready men. Hey! General! He has Carthaginian calf. He has late Carthaginian Hopotes. I think he has three Balearic Slingers. He has Carthaginian Cab as well. General! Quickly now! At the ready! Swift Rider! Quickly now! Yeah, he's probably just gonna hide in the forest. Give himself some sort of advantage. But I mean, I have an infantry disadvantage. I don't know why he'd want to do that. Doesn't matter. try to explain what happened. I want to play as Syracuse.
or maybe a Sparta because I haven't been able to play as them as a while in a while. Plays the spray. It's funny because Spartan Hoppa Chase costs the exact same as both Lucy Tadney Spearman and um, uh, Veteran Shield Sword, uh, Veteran Shield Warriors. Yet it's hard to uh, see the difference between Spartan Hoppa Chase and the Lucy Tiny Spearman. I think Lucy Tiny Spearman would probably lose because I think they have the same melee attack, but uh, but um Lucy Tiny Spearman have more melee defense, just less armor. Anyway. One unit of Royal Spartans. Actually why not break two? Five Spartan Hoppetes should work. Mm. Against Egypt, probably not the best idea. Square formation could help. The only thing I have to worry about when I'm facing Egypt is Galatian Royal Guard. So I'll bring three Cretan archers. I guess I could bring another unit of Royal Spartans. <sighs> it's a tough call. I mean, if you bring Thorax Swordsman, I could beat Thorax Swordsman easily. And Egypt doesn't have. Um, regular hoppetes. In fact, I don't even think they have any hoppetes. Mm. Periodic type Heltas. No. I'm good with three Cretan archers. I'll bring another unit of Royal Spartans. 230. That's about it. Five. Whoops. Can't upgrade anything else. Except that, of course. Alright. Seems good enough. Recreate Nargers to counter Bowman, uh, Nubian Bowman, and I guess on a map like this, it's just grassland, so. So I guess archers would be fine.
I actually didn't know this was a 2v2. I just came in thinking it was a 1v1. There, that should work. Standard battle line, hoppetes. I just decided to mix up the Spartan hoppetes with hoppetes because I feel that would just create some gaps if they were able to beat whatever is coming my way. And I always seem to have like the balance of power seems to be against me, always, even if I bring better infantry. Citizen cavalry. Start off the battle. General! Over there is an army of fools brought to the field of death by lies and falsehoods. Our swords, spears, and arrows will kill them. But the true cause of their defeat and deaths is idiocy. Make ready! Look! Our hidden units have been discovered! He's trying to just discover my army. Whether or not he discovers my army is why I'm concerned with. Of course, knowing Sparta's strengths and weaknesses, he brings five Nubian bowmen. Actually, no, these are Egyptian slingers. No, one Egyptian slinger, four Nubian bowmen. Split up formation. So my objection my objective is pretty simple. Archers! Our hidden units have been discovered. Our general is under attack. Understood. Commander. 
have to keep an eye on those cavalry units though. Sparta! What are you waiting? That's oh, glory! Yeah, he's just gonna go through the gap. Our hidden units have been discovered! What you know is fine. Sparta! Citizen cavalry! Yours to command! At speed! Advance! Yes, forward! Advance at speed! Spartans! Hurry on! The men are wavering! I wasn't paying attention over there. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Yours to command. Archers. Fire on the enemy. Forward. Spear infantry at your command. Yours to command. Yes, commander. An entire unit yeah. has perished. Save that unit of cat, unfortunately. Back way, back! Royal Spartans! Advance at speed, Commander! As you command! As you command! Quick march! At speed! Let's for the general. Spears ready. 
Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Losing ground. Citizen cavalry! Shoot for glory! Back! Orders. Back! Withdraw! Melee cavalry ready! Riders! Advance! Forward! Orders. Break for glory! Citizen cavalry! Engage! Fire Spartan! Citizen Cavalry! Advance at speed! Melee horsemen! Orders understood! Our men flee the field of battle! This is a shameful display! Hey, uh, Dr. Hassett, PhD. Uh, nothing much. I, I got out bowed, basically. It was fun though. Our general has fallen! He out, uh, what do you call it? He, he out, skinnish me. By your command. I didn't know um, uh, that bringing skirmishers, like a lot of skirmishers for, what is it, the Egyptians was a viable tactic. I thought it was only good for like the Siberians, but I guess it works for Egypt too. Amen. Spartans! Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Anyway, I think I can fit in one more battle. Probably just one more.
I will be making a phone call, so I'm going to turn off the mic for like a minute or so. Retires ready! Spear! Oh, gotcha! Ready for battle!
stay where I put ya! Archer. Soldiers, remember your ancestors as you go into battle. Make sure they witness no cowardice today. They were mighty men and sired mighty sons. Be worthy of them. Now, stand your ground and make ready. <laughs> Step, Lancers! Riders, forward! Ready! Carter's logo! Forward! Horse archers! Gotcha! Our hidden units have been discovered! We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Ready for battle! Step Lancers! Horse Archers! Charge! Noble Horse Archers! As you say, armored horse archers, weapons ready. Battle ready. Advance at speed. Missile armed riders. Riders ready. Advance. Riders forward. Horse archers! Forward! Ah! Hold on! Our hidden units have been discovered! Warriors eager for blood! Double! 
men are wavering. Our general is under attack. Flee the field of battle! This is a shameful display. Uh, I was caught off guard. I was on the phone and trying to, I guess, micro my archers out of the way. Couldn't do both. Battle ready and eager! Advance at speed! Step archers! Hoplites! You're ready! ready. Double time! Yours to command! Horse archers! Our hidden units have been discovered! Hoplites ready! Advance! Battle ready and eager! We have discovered the enemy's hidden units! Mounted missile warrior! Who's archers! Gotcha! Riders and back! have been discovered. Heavy horsemen! Step lancers! Mounted missile warriors! Step lancers! Battle ready! Ready! Riders forward! Noble horse archers! Advance at speed! Withdraw! Our men flee the field of battle! This is a shameful display. Warriors eager for blood! Step monsters! Hoplites! Advance at first! Riders at last! ready! An entire unit has perished! Yeah, infantry, ready! Step archers! Quickly now! Hoplites, ready! Hoplites, ready! Our hidden units have been discovered! Armored horse archers! Stay alert! Fire! Hoplites! Noble horse archers! Quickly now! Now! Right in! Advance! Quickly now! Aldo! One of our units has used all its ammunition. Hoplites, ready! 
Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. That's unfortunate. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Horse archers! Step archers! Riders, forward! Battle ready and eager! Men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Mounted missile warriors, as you say. Quickly now. The gods. Our general has fallen. At your service. Order understood. Engage! Battle ready! Riders forward! Hop it, hey, Phalanx! Armored horse archers! All right! Riders forward! Our men flee the field of battle! This is a shameful display. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. We will have to fight. Draw your blade. Riders forward. Oh well. Good game. I messed up there. We are losing ground. So that's just a good example of how why you shouldn't be on the phone and playing room two. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shame. I could have won that. Though. I could have. Anyway, I'm going to end. Probably end it here. Because I have things to get to, and I won't delay them any longer. Anyway, thanks guys so much for watching, and I will hopefully see you tomorrow. I should be on tomorrow. Shouldn't have anything to do tomorrow. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys then.